In this tutorial, you'll learn how to put PNG files or transparent images onto any part of your mesh for whatever project that you're doing. This is a very quick and easy process. So let's just get straight into it so I don't bore you guys. Also, this is live recorded. So if I do tend to stutter a lot, you know, it's because it's not a voiceover. I mean, except for this clip that I'm saying. Uh, anyways, let's just get started. <laughs> All right, so in this tutorial, I'm gonna be showing you guys on how to add a PNG file or a transparent image onto any part of your mesh. So examples would be if you want to put a your logo onto this part of your robot, or you want to add paint or graffiti or a sign basically onto this part of a ruined back alley wall. And you get the point basically, putting an image onto any part of your mesh. So that's what we're gonna be doing. Anyways, let's just get straight to the point so I don't bore you about the introduction to this, yada yada. All right, so go down to the bottom left. Oh, and this also works for Cycles Render. Um, go to the bottom left and let's go into the Node Editor so we can edit our material. And as you can see, this is my material. It's pretty sh simple, you know? Image texture, my normals map is connected. That's pretty much it. Now, just for the sake of this video, and I was too lazy to download something like paint or whatever, graffiti, I'm gonna put my logo on maybe this part of the wall right over here, this part of the block. So yeah, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add an, an image texture node. So you can click the add button down here and then search for image texture, or you can type in shift A on our keyboard and then search for the image texture node. Drag it right into the node editor. And we're not gonna actually be connecting it we're not going to be connecting the texture coordinate node to the image texture node because we don't want it to display on uh, manually certain parts. We don't want it to display on each part of the of the cube, nor do we want it on this these two specific parts. We want it on we want to manually insert it somewhere on the mesh. So we're not going to connect it whatsoever to the texture coordinate. So what we're gonna do is now just open up the, uh, the texture that you wanna use. Since I'm gonna be using my logo, I'm gonna click that and I already have it loaded in, so I can just click right there. And now we're gonna add in the second and last node that we're gonna need, which is the mix RGB node. Now this connected to your current image texture. And what this is gonna do is we're gonna combine both of the original material mixed with the, the material that we're gonna put on top of. So like my logo, we want to put my logo on top of the current material without actually editing anything, basically. That's pretty straight. That's pretty much it. That's straightforward. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the image texture node of our logo and we're going to use the color output and plug it into the bottom color input of the mix RGB node. And then we're going to use the alpha output into the mix RGB's factor input. All right, so now everything looks good. You can leave it as mix, and that's basically it. Now, if we take around, take a look around our block, you know, nothing happened. It's like, where's the logo at? Well, that's because we didn't assign the certain part that we wanted on. Now, if you want to assign on a certain part, we can do it in two ways. One, you can subdivide it and select the faces that you want to display it on, or we can, you know, cut. <laughs> we can cut um, the part manually that we want our logo to display on but for just for the sake i'm going to be selecting these faces that i subdivided on the cube just to make it pretty quick and simple and yeah and what we're going to do now is we're going to go into the uv image editor and this is my logo that i'm using right over here if it doesn't pop up the texture they're using just load it up in it should be somewhere over here and what we're going to do is now, since this is what our logo, we want to select the part of the mesh that we want to display the logo on. And then we're going to unwrap it by clicking U on the keyboard and then selecting unwrap. Now, as you can see, we have the logo actually over here. We can size it down. We can drag it anywhere we want. And you can assign multiple parts on your mesh actually to show the logo. It doesn't have to be just this one part. So you can move it around, basically just play around with it. If you size it, you know, out, hit pretty much just tiles the, the the texture basically and then once you're done you can just get out of edit mode and there you go so if we take a look now at it the logo is well the texture is on top texture if, if that made any sense i don't know if that think that made any sense <laughs> all right so that's basically that's the whole tutorial it's pretty simple you know pretty straightforward hope you guys didn't did enjoy this and you found this tutorial useful you know if 
this is what you were looking for. Uh, it's great to learn as a beginner and it's really effective for your future models and your renders. Thank you all so much for watching. My name is Joshua Autumn via 2EZCG. Stay golden and get the bonbon.